Uh, hello there people, this is Mr. Critic and you're watching my Let's Replay of Panzer General. It's part 26 and it will be Moscow 41 part 1. But before we go to Moscow, I just wanted to load the last possible turn in Kiev for a major victory, so X is turn 20 with 9 turns remaining air map, ground map, as you can see the Soviets have only one more unit I was lucky to push it on the river hex with this uh, Panzer Jager so now we can destroy it So, Axis Major Victory. Review Battlefield. Um, yeah. If you remember from the previous video, we have actually won a major victory. We could have won on turn 8. So, yeah, I spent again a lot of off screening. Um, a lot of time off screening, of course. And um, this is the result. I was also comparing um, this Let's Replay with my previous Let's Play of Panzer General uh, many years ago. And two things I find most interesting is that we have a lot more prestige than we had back then. Since I was smart enough, you know, to adjust my flood tactics uh, from low countries uh, this time around and uh, also uh, we have one less fighter and one more tactical bomber than uh, all these years uh, ago and uh, our units generally have more experience um, especially air units and bridge engineers as for the tanks I did something which I'm not sure why I did it but You have noticed this and thank you for reminding me, but I have actually upgraded Panzer 4Ds uh, to Panzer 3Js. Those Panzer 4Ds that were least experienced. Uh, I'm still not sure why I did it. And since in Moscow uh, 41 we will face some excellent and also somewhat experienced Soviet armor, I will have to change the tactics a little bit. But yeah, this is, like I said, the last turn. And before we continue, those of you who like, uh, you know, playing Panzer General campaigns, this is one of the scenarios that you can win with a minor victory and not lose anything uh, with the exception of prestige. It goes the same for Barbarossa, if you don't like mo early Moscow. And same goes for Norway and, well, probably even more campaign scenarios. Poland, I think, also. Uh, so if you really like, you know, you can just play this uh, Kiev campaign in the Ukraine until the very, until, uh, sorry, until the very last turn is available. Okay, so now. Uh, I think there is nothing else to show except for the fact that you know we have started way behind the lines here and advanced without much of a problem towards the city of Lokvica and Mirgorod and here in the south we took our sweet time I actually brought most of the Luftwaffe units south in the off-screening process to get um, more experience so this is now the result highly experienced Luftwaffe units. But okay, enough is enough, let us confirm the end. X is major victory. We will now save on no longer Kiev, but Moscow 41 minus 001 and we receive our congratulations. 
and you can read the rest if you want but again uh, the main thing to do is to win decisively and quickly in Moscow 41 so now for the deployment part this is the map again after the deployment I will tell you when I will turn the hidden units off and those of you who do not like to watch this part can look away but this is like I said the deployment map and um, these are the units I always thought that these were the units you know historically from army group south but actually uh, watched the, the com documentary um, I think a week ago or yeah these are actually Guderian's units returning those that were borrowed for the action in the south and um, well Hans welcome <laughs> okay now uh, one thing that happened <coughs> during the off screen we have received a new transport armored land transport and now we will upgrade all of our bridge engineers to have this new transport uh, which is superior in movement has less fuel I know but usually I opt for the movement uh, since it is very important in Blitzkrieg so this now all bridge engineers yeah all of them have um, new land transports and to man I, I will not say a mistake but this new approach that I took I will now also upgrade two of our tanks most experienced tanks to Panzer 3 J's um, since our best Panzer 3J at the moment has the strength of 13 and 3 stars of experience and it's I will not say it's not enough but it's risky so we'll upgrade since we have you know plenty of pre prestige we'll upgrade two more tanks into Panzer 3Js and use them where they're most needed so now we have uh, seven Panzer 3Js and four Panzer 4Ds. For a while I was thinking to actually upgrade all of the tanks to Panzer 4Ds just for the fun of it but it is sort of counterproductive since Panzer 4Ds, uh, 4Ds are still better against soft targets and you know why not use a few. Uh, we will also be able to purchase one more unit in this scenario and since we only have eight fighters one more fighter and this will be it for the fighters throughout the entire campaign and also we have now 11 tanks which is also it so from now on only we will purchase uh, first uh, in the next scenario two level bombers and then only tactical bombers but I'm very happy about our level bomber force at the moment. As you can see, we have four plus seven of tactical bombers, and most of them elite. And the two that are not elite are getting close to elite, to five stars of experience. Now for the deployment part. Um, have to say it again it is very important how you deploy your units in Moscow uh, whether it is 41 42 43 and also early Moscow since the first line of the Soviet defenses is strong and if you successfully get rid of the units guarding the first line you will be able to advance really quickly so bridge engineers can go here another here then if you want to remember where um, the enemy has the units just look at these three uh, rough hexes they are occupied so it's easier to remember if you you know 
do it like this 14 14 and 15 plus one more bridge engineers here in a turn or, or two all of our bridge engineers will have five stars of experience but for the first attack you know we still have to plan a little bit and you can also remember that there is an infantry here in the forest hex so here we go now for our tanks we are facing a lot of opposition here uh, uh, north of the Dnieper river and around the city of Safonovo so we'll use at least one of our elite panzer 3j's in the area since we are also dealing with the T-34 with I believe one star of experience so you know have to be careful one more guy that is not that elite and three more tanks will come here uh, just let me think about it I think we can go for one elite panzer 4D to deal with uh, an air defense that is also in the area and okay for the time being this is it now panzer 3J one to support our imps four of the tanks will place here so they can be um, I would say two Panzer 3Js and two Panzer 4Ds uh, so let me just check something yeah yeah you And with three tanks remaining, two of them will come here. Oh, my mistake here. Uh, one elite Panzer 4D will actually go here. Okay. And you can come here. Much better. And two more tanks now we'll have is this right actually no I don't think so uh, we'll, repra uh, we'll replace one of our panzer for this and you know <laughs> we have different units and my whole plan I'm not saying is falling apart but I have to adjust it a little bit so panzer for the here Panther 3J here. Okay. As for the air units, uh, let us stick to the original plan a little bit. Three of the elite tactical bombers will go in the north. Well, actually, they are all elite, so <laughs> what am I saying? Um, four tactical bombers in the south two fighters in the north two in the south and we have four more remaining only one is not at five stars of experience so you can come here so we will scout and destroy the fighter that is stationed on the airfield. As for the remaining three, I think we'll place two here and one here somewhere. Why are the rest of the fighters important? Well, basically we will use them to <coughs> deal with the units that are damaged crippled ground units especially but 
not quite destroyed. So this is the idea. Place unit here. X is turn one. We can purchase one core unit and three auxiliary units. And since we have plenty of prestige, we will of course purchase one fighter, the last one. As for the three auxiliary, I think I will purchase um, three fighter bombers. Okay, expensive, but they have a spotting of five. And spotting is, I will not say everything, but it is very important. Uh, can you deal without them? Yes, you can, of course. You can handle Moscow 41 even without auxiliary fighter bombers. But they can be of great assistance and, uh, you know, yeah, you can help yourself if you have plenty of prestige. Okay, now uh, for the part uh, just wanted to show you, uh, please those of you who do not like to see hidden units, now look away in one, in I mean in three, two, one, look away, look away. Okay, so this is what we are facing. See ground units, air units, so uh, the Soviets have, well, they outnumber us in ground units, in ground units, not in the air units department, no, uh, but as you can see we will have to crash through some serious defenses on the very first turn and then proceed all the way to Moscow. Uh, so now I will uh, you know, turn again hidden units on uh, in three, two, one. Okay, hidden units are no longer visible. So now we can also save on Moscow. Well, can be the same. I will take a little pause and then let us check the weather and then we'll start with the game this scenario. Um, what else to say? Well, casualties are now 0-0, zero, zero, as you can see. <laughs> okay, uh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, and I have to admit something. You know, the first couple of turns, uh, especially before the weather turns bad, are my favorite uh, parts of playing campaign of Panzer General, you know, in Moscow. Um, since everything is so clear, what you have to do, there is no great opposition and no <laughs> particular planning. You do all the planning while you deploy your units, you know, and afterwards, it's so much easier. And again, I have to say something. Um, yeah, to, you do not have to attack the units in the forest here in the north to win since this unit here in the north well you know they cannot well they can achieve some objectives uh, I mean they can take over some objectives achieve uh, some advance but even if you disband all of these units um, keep one guarding you know the city of Smolensk, well, well they will do nothing, you know, uh, but it is so good, you know, to destroy them, so let us now start. First we'll strafe this anti-tank gun. It didn't go well. Bomb the artillery. Yeah, I can see the pattern here and I'm pretty sure you can also and um, not happy about it. So now let us also bomb this inf. Okay, at least this one was destroyed and now we'll try to break through here. That's zero 07. I hope it will actually work. Mm. 
and it didn't as you can see so we've just started and already a setback what if we attack with our tank says 06 infantry 06 huh. uh, who do we use Now the problem is that if we are blocked here we cannot of course advance <laughs> which is of course logical but since we are in no rush let us use the imp just no ragged defense please Now force this anti-tank to retreat. Yes. So no quick advance unfortunately, but still we'll be able to destroy oh shit. We will be able to destroy these units in the north. <coughs> Entrenchment of two, entrenchment of three. So we can strafe this inf. Excellent result, and now we can destroy it, I think. Exactly, and after we bomb this one, this takes care of all of the Soviet units here in this forest. Lovely. Okay, now for a more tricky part. Here. First we'll push this inf away. still alive. Okay, this is why we brought our fighters here. Attack. Very nice. And now we'll attack this tank. And hopefully we can also push it away. Yeah, we can also deal with this artillery. And perhaps we should do this first. Says 07, come on, some good luck, please. Nice, and we have another fighter. first attack doesn't work then we can push this inf away and bypass uh, this tank and attack an air defense directly but I'm hoping it will work come on so as you can see even our Panzer 3J with uh, 5 stars of experience and strength of 15 barely managed to achieve uh, the goal so no. We weren't being too careful. Not at all. And now we can deal with this air defense. And we are in a position to attack this artillery as well. 
and this cavalry, but I'm going for the artillery, most definitely. Retreating, very nice. Now for this inf in the woods. Inf is still alive, however, now we are, in a we are in a position to move here and after we attack this bridge engineers, we'll be able to provide the river crossing on the very next turn. Okay. Now I'm actually wondering whether or not should we use one of our fighters to finish those... Uh, I'm sorry, to finish off this imp, but don't think it's necessary, so we'll wait. First we'll attack this artillery, so we are moving south as you can see. <laughs> and now for this imp, should we actually attack from here? just to bring our... hmm... not sure... okay, first we can attack this anti-tank that's an obvious thing to do and it has survived, too bad too bad. Ah, uh, yeah, we are getting kind of, you know, low on our air units in the north, so let us just shift to the south for the time being. We'll attack this inf. Lovely. And now, this one. Okay. Who are you? Another inf. Here we have a heavy weapons infantry. Okay. Here we have pioneers. So pioneers should be able to deal with this imp without air support, so we attack immediately. Okay. And now we get rid of this imp here. Or maybe, give me a second. What can this fighter do? Ah! We can strafe this imp here. Okay. So this is probably a priority to see what happens. Strength of 5. I see. So now, do we go for the airfield or do we actually try to destroy this imp? I think we'll go for the destruction. Yeah. Nice. The same goes for this imp. Yeah, you know, I was also considering taking over this airfield so we can purchase our um, fighter bomber in the south and perhaps this wasn't the best choice to destroy this inf, but now I've made it, so I'm sorry. Uh, huh. So now you can attack this inf. Wow, 
Wow. Complete distraction. Perfect. You can advance here. Lovely. And you, tank, can finish off finish off this inf and see another one okay entrenchment of two so since we have one extra tactical bomber why not use it Strength of one remaining, we advance and destroy, of course. So great. Okay, um, I think two, ob two more obvious things to do. First, we'll deal with this inf. And if we force it to retreat, we have at least made some room for our tank. Has retreated. And another bridging engineer unit here. Yeah. They have both survived. Too bad. Uh, now I need a little pause because I have to consider what to do here in the middle uh, since the attacks on the ground units didn't go particularly well. Well, one good thing still is that now I believe all of our bridge engineers except for this one have five stars of experience. Mm. Yeah. So we'll save. Moscow 41001. Time for a little pause. Be right back. Uh, yo, I'm back. Uh, I was just checking which fighter uh, can reach the airfield and do most of the scouting in the process. And I have chosen this one in the middle. So, fly here. Attack. Yeah, one more thing. I think this is the only one or one of two scenarios where actually airplanes are entrenched. For goodness sake, how do you entrench airplanes? I don't know. But now we can see what we are up against. Uh, that's the whole thing, you know, with the spotting of free. So, first we'll attack this artillery. Retreated, very nice. Now we can finish it off, most definitely, <coughs> and do some more scouting in the process. Okay, now for Panzer 3J. Bridge engineers are in range of the artillery, and I know for a fact that there is another artillery here, and we don't have anything useful to attack. Uh, so this is re really, really not good. Uh, what if we? One, two, three, four. Hmm. Okay, what if we deal with this in first? Okay. Mm. 
Whoa! Too good a result, so now we can also attack this anti-tank. At least I think so. Or maybe we advance. Who knows? Hmm. Yeah. Perhaps we can destroy this anti-tank with our less experienced 3J tank and send this one here so it will cross the woods sooner. Yeah. This is what we'll do. Come on. And at least one artillery will be crippled. Here we go. Or even better, destroyed. Okay. Now for. Uh, now for what else we can do? Only one airplane remaining. Could fly here and finish off this fighter. Or maybe. Uh, or maybe we could deal with these two imps. Yeah. Not a bad idea since these two imps have only a spotting of one and. Yeah, okay. So. We'll finish off this inf. And now this one. Very nice. Just hoping you know that but even if our bridge engineers are spotted, there is only one more artillery remaining, so it should work. You can cross the river hex, you come here. I think this is it for our air department, true? So before we do anything else, we purchase one more fighter place it here and one auxiliary more fuel less ammo uh, well I'm not worried about ammo that much since our auxiliaries won't be used for attacking that much but for scouting okay one here and one more here. What else can we move? Only our auxiliary units, I think. Yeah. So now here, Panzergruppe Guderian. First, we will attack um, these bridge engineers and move here. Uh, we have to get... <coughs> well, there are two approaches to this. Uh, we can be aggressive or we can be defensive. Uh, I usually opt for being defensive, but... Perhaps this time we should be aggressive. Okay, so first we'll attack this anti-tank gun. Shit. Terrible result.
Uh, now we'll attack this Panzer, I mean this tank T-70. It's not a bad tank, but still. Okay. And now we'll also shell it. And park here to... You know, to support our two imps that are exposed to this artillery. Okay. And now... I'm guessing we can shell this tank. Wonderful! Almost perfect. Park here. We attack it. This is going extremely good. Let's just hope it will continue. Two more Panzer 3Js from Panzer Group Guderian. So you will attack here. Please force this Panzer, I mean this uh, KB2 tank to retreat. Oh, even better. And now we go for this artillery. No ragged defense, please. Excellent. The artillery has retreated. Now we actually encircle this tank. Just let me check something. I want for this artillery to be protected as well. So. Um, if we go for this artillery here, Soviet artillery, and block the approach of hmm, one, two, three, four. I'm, you know, I'm worried about this T70 here. So perhaps we can let this artillery live. It will have to, you know, um, it will have to um, get back to full strength before before it can do anything. So, yeah, you come here. We will not attack, of course. It's too risky. But yeah, we can attack here says zero four to suppressed <coughs> but still we'll destroy this artillery. Come on. One, two, three, four, and we'll place our inf here to protect this artillery of ours. So I'm guessing in the south it went pretty well, with the exception, of course, of this Reckon, which is kind of exposed to this tank. But like I said, I'm not obsessed any longer with not losing a single unit, so if it happens, you know, then it happens. Now only a few more units to move, and we have purchased an uh, I mean everything. Casualties, not bad for the first turn. Now we give the enemy its turn and one more for us, and then we finish this video. I know it will be kind of long, but I hope you guys won't mind. So let us see what happens. Oh damn it. Oh damn it. Please do not do much damage. <sighs> uh, 
Yeah, but we fought back. The lack of the air cover is showing. Only minor damage, very nice. Axis turn 2. Quick check of the map. <laughs> he's guarding the city of Bryansk, okay. Uh, and here he's staying put, excellent. Uh, S4, center and north. Uh, yeah, we are advancing almost unopposed, with the exception of these bridge engineers that suffered well, some serious casualties, I would say, so... Okay, uh, we save. Uh, this time it's Moscow 4, T1, 0, 2 Little pause, be right back after I study the battlefield. Uh, yo, uh, so we are back for one last turn. Uh, should we start in the north or in the south? Uh, I think I prefer the north, so... We'll advance with our tanks first. To keep our heavy weapons infantry protected. As for other infantry that only have soft transports, we'll send them south. Since they will not do much good, you know, here in the rough terrains. <laughs> I'm sorry. The rough terrain and forests and mountains, so. <clears throat> okay, now for the fighter. Uh, since we will deal with this air defense on this very turn, we can fly all the way here to deal with this tactical bomber. And scout, of course. So here we go. It's so cool, you know, to have Fokke Wolves uh, in Russia since they really uh, face no opposition whatsoever in the air. Only air defenses can do damage to them, otherwise, you know, they are basically indestructible. So. Now we see a tank, we'll attack it with our Stuka. Anti-tank. It is in range, but... Not sure whether or not we'll need Stukas here in the south. At least one. You know, to deal with this infantry so do we well this one we can send south come on strength of three remaining now we can finish off this inf Nice. And now we can attack this artillery, which is very important since we will also have to destroy the bridge engineers guarding the city of Safonov. So, here we go. Lovely. Before we bomb this bridge engineers, however, we will have to deal with this fighter too, so... Here we go. So nice. And we see a destroy tank. Okay. Tactical bomber get into action. Cross the river. 
<clears throat> what else do we have in the air department in the north? Uh, yeah, this fighter bomber will scout for us. Where do we send it? See the spotting of five is really amazing. Now we see everything there is to see, you know, in the area, and you will also scout. So oh, so cool! Just take a look. With two auxiliaries, now we see the entire battlefield in the north. So it's not a bad investment, but like I said, if you don't feel like investing in auxiliaries, you don't have to. It's not absolutely necessary for the victory, but it can help, most definitely. So, okay, air defense, uh, who will we use to take over the city of Safonovo? I'm guessing these bridge engineers. Yes. air defense here come on three suppressed destroy now And now we also deal with this cavalry, since we need to make room for our, um, what's that, four, ah, I see, so perhaps if we can weaken this cavalry, we can also destroy it with our bridge engineers, so, in a transport, so, okay. Uh, this didn't go well. Okay, you come here. Please destroy. Wonderful. Now for this destroy tank. Ah, I see. Now these bridge engineers are already functioning in their role. Okay. Oh, holy crap! This was a terrible result. If we attack again... Do we actually win now? I mean, destroy this Bistro tank? Ah, shit! Don't think I ever face such a bad luck. And I don't think we have more tactical bombers in the area. No, only fighters. So, you will have to do. Come on. Finally, some good result. And now we can also attack this artillery. Says 06. No! No rugged defense, damn it! For suppressed, well, at least this means that nobody is guarding this inf any longer. So we can attack with our bridge engineers.
three suppressed. Okay. And yeah, we have to deal with this artillery one way or another. So here we go. And with some luck we'll also be able to deal with this air defense. Says 1-6. I'm hoping for a better... No! Shit! Okay, this was a major setback and... Now I'm extremely sorry that I didn't use the tanks we had here in the... Well, southern from this position. Come on. Destroy it. Now you please do better. And for the bridge engineers, and this is it for this Soviet infantry. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, here we advance, here as well. We don't see anything, but at least we are out of the forest. Uh, okay, now we'll destroy this fighter and fly north to protect this one. Plus, of course, we are doing the scouting. Okay, the defense is around the city of Oyazma. Now we can see them. Uh, you, 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 you can fly here to strafe and also to protect this fighter bomber. Even though uh, Messerschmitt's 110 uh, can, you know, hold their own against Soviet fighters, I don't wish to pro uh, leave them unprotected, unprotected unless absolutely necessary. So what to do with you, my friend? I think you can start strafing this inf, get some experience. One is better than zero. Experience of eight, as you can see from one attack. As for you, who can you attack? Probably this imp here, and also, of course, scout. Uh, should we protect this tactical bomber? I don't think it's necessary, actually, since, like I said, Junkers took us with five stars of experience. Well, they can more than hold their ground against um, Soviet fighters in this period of war. Okay, you. You can scout, but where? I'm guessing here. Okay, we see a tank. And more units protecting the city of Kirov. Good. Let me just check something. In the north, we have basically done our job. And we have no more units to move. Ground units, air units, yes, this is it for the north. For the south, however, we have plenty of targets and we'll start with this T-70. anti-tank gun this was probably an overkill but I really want uh, this airfield and this city ok 
Okay, so the city of Bryansk will be ours. Perfect. We save. I need another little boss, not for, you know, thinking, but I have some Persian, uh, Persian, personal issues to attend, so be right back. Uh, yo, back, so we are in the south and there is one unit here that kind of poses a problem, so it's the air defense. Uh, yeah. So do we... You know what I mean? Do we actually... Shell it first? Or do we just use our tanks against it? I think our tanks will work since... The entrenchment is only... One. Okay. Lovely. Now if we have one more spare fighter, we could use it against this tank. But we have no more spare fighters. Oh god damn it. Too bad. Okay, so now for the tactical bombers. Uh, yeah. No, first we'll finish off uh, this air defense. Then we'll see. Very nice. And we strafe these bridge engineers and move here. So this tank we will also have to destroy one way or another. So. Okay. You attack the bridge engineers. Excellent! Only strength of 5 remaining, so this means our pioneers can get into action. Yeah, we've lost some, but you know, still. Um, Capture the airfield. Uh, so now one of our tactical bombers will deal with these bridge engineers and finish them off. Final attack. Perfect. And we take over the city of, of Orel. Now, actually, we will first attack with our infantry because this tank is very weak against soft targets. So let's see what happens. Please do some minor damage at least. Nope. Okay. Also we have to defeat this anti-tank gun. So here we go. Seriously, only two destroyed. Okay, we have more imps. Come on. And still one strength remaining. If we attack with our recon, it says it will work. Let us hope so. Perfect. And now we have uh, two tanks available 
Panzer 3 J's to deal with this T-70. And like I said, no more airplanes um, in range. Oh, no. I was wrong, actually. Okay, we have a tactical bomber in range, but do we use it against this T-70 or against these two infantry? So let us first try with our tank. 1-3. Excellent! And if we attack again, what happens then? It says 04, please destroy it. No. The unit has survived, but it's crippled, so perhaps we'll leave it be. Okay. Tactical bombers, yeah, we should attack the infantry that are highly entrenched. Come on, very good. Now for the destruction, of course, uh, here A rugged defense, damn it. No damage, excellent. And now for this inf as well. Strength of four remaining. Uh, oh, we cannot reach. Ah, damn it. Silly me. You come here, you mm. spotting of two, spotting of two, you can come here. Yeah, my bad again. But the rest of our units in soft transports will just follow the road. Since they can move much quicker. So yeah, this was not really a perfect turn, but we have achieved a lot, especially in the south. And in the middle, I think we have cleared most of the Soviet resistance. Uh, again, for the last time we'll check the casualties, as you can see, so far so good. We we'll save on Moscow 41002, give the enemy its turn, weather fair and dry tomorrow. Please let this happen. Shit, tactical bomber. Okay, we have survived, good. units, two more fighters, one tactical bomber in the south, yeah, and <laughs> this one is still hanging on, but not for long, uh, so yeah, um, what else can we show, like I said, air map, ground map, X is turn 3, and, well, we are advancing across the entire map. Uh, so, the only thing to do now is to save Moscow 42001. And I just wanted to say uh, thank you for watching this. All the best from Mr. Critic and bye bye.